Welcome back to a new tutorial, Benoferin for Pen Explorer. In this module, we will go over the project panel. The project panel keeps track of the clips that we have imported and links them to the media assets on disk. It also keeps track of the sequences we have created. I will show you how to organize items in the project panel into bins and how to view details about clips and how to view a thumbnail representation of the clips. I already have Premiere running. I created a new project. The name of the project and the location do not matter really. I named the project Essentials and I saved it to my desktop under Projects. Check my tutorial Start Screen and New Project Settings for information on how to create a new project. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to organize clips in the project panel. So first, we need to import some media. Open the Media Browser panel, navigate to the desktop and to the Tutorial Files folder. Now I'll open all the media we have here. So I'll first open the audio folder. We see all the audio files here. I click here and select all files. So hit Ctrl A or Command A on the back. Then right click on any file and click import. Premiere switches to the project panel and displays the media we just imported. Go back to the media browser. I'll go up one level and I'll now import all images in the images folder. Open the folder, click here, Ctrl A or Command A to select all files, right click and import those files. And we'll do this one more time as we want to import some video. So go back to the media browser, go up one folder, open video, Ctrl A or Command A, right click on a file and click import. Okay, the project panel now displays the clips that we imported to the project. We imported videos, images and audio files. Soon I will show you how to use this panel to locate, find, organize and preview the media we just imported. Let's start by looking at the project panel interface. At the bottom left, we have a list view icon and an icon view icon. If I click the list view icon, we now see a list of the names of the media we've imported to our project. If I click down here and scroll, we get quite a bit of information about these clips, such as the image resolution. In fact, Premiere shows a lot of metadata information about our files. If I switch to icon view, I get a thumbnail representing the media we've imported to the project. Let's switch back to list view, so I click here. The project panel provides a lot of valuable information about our files, so let's expand this view and make better use of all this information. To do that, just move the cursor over the panel and hit the tilde key. The tilde key is located under the escape key on your keyboard. This opens the project panel full screen. So we get a list of video files, image files and audio files. The list is not really organized. This is probably manageable for now, but things will get much more complicated as we add more media to our projects. I will show you how to organize media. Premiere provides a lot of information on the project panel. It tells us about the type of media we've imported. It also extracts and displays metadata about the imported files. These columns include additional information such as frame rates and duration of video files, size of images, the resolution of video files, and so much more. We can customize this view. We can remove some columns that are not necessary to us, and we can also add columns if needed. I will remove all the columns to the right of the audio info as I am not using them, except the status column as it indicates files that are offline. The file is marked offline when it needs to be relocated on disk. So removing these columns will free up some space in the table. Right click or control click on any column name and select metadata display. Whoa, there is a ton of options here. Let's not worry too much. We probably will never use most of them anyway, at least not initially. Expand Premiere Pro project metadata. 
scroll down to tape name and uncheck tape name, description, log note, capture settings, scene, shot, good and hide. Click OK. Now I would like to get a little more details about the type of the media that we've imported. Let's see if we can find an additional column for that. Right click or control click here and let's open metadata display once again. In the search area type media. Media type is what we are looking for so I'll select it and click OK. The media type column is added to the table. That's good. We have what we need now. Well, the video info column tells me about the size of my files and I use that frequently. It should be listed among the first columns of the table, just after media type. So click on the video info column and drag it over here. OK, we are now all set. Let's look at those files. We see this is a video, this is an audio file, this is an image. Here we have a sequence. Oh, and here we have a movie. A movie is a clip that contains both a video channel and an audio channel, while a video is a clip that contains a video channel but it has no audio channel. Audio files have a green color swatch here on the left, video have a violet swatch, and movies are iris. Remember, video have no audio channel, and still images are lavender. Sequences are represented in forest green. We saw in a previous tutorial, by the way, you can look at Adobe Premiere Preferences hands-on tutorial, that color swatches are customizable. Let's see that very quickly. Go to Edit, Preferences, select Labels. Note the labels on the right side here. Video is currently set to violet and that can be adjusted if needed. We can change the color, we can change the color label and we can select another label for video. Now each media type has its own icon as well. Here you can see a small image for all image files, a movie for video files and a wave icon for audio files. Premiere provides a lot of hints on the type of our media. This is extremely useful when a lot of media is imported here. So now let's organize these clips. We have full control on the way we want to organize these clips. We could organize them by theme, by type, by resolution, for example. I sort columns based on the way I want to organize my clips. To sort on file names, I'll click the name heading. File names are now sorted in alphabetical order. If I click on the name heading again, it will reverse the sort order. I want to organize by type, so I'll click the media type heading and my clips are now sorted on type. To organize clips, we will create bins and then we will put the media we want together in those bins. Bins are similar to folders. There are several ways to create a bin. You can go to the bottom right of the panel and click the new bin icon. That will create a new bin. You can also go to the file menu, click file, new, and you'll notice a bin option there. You can also right click on the panel and select new bin from the pop-up menu. So if we create a new bin, I go ahead now and I'll call this video and then I'll select all the video assets from the project panel and simply drag them into the video bin. I'll collapse the bin to make some space and I can create additional bins for the other media types. I now use the shortcut Ctrl B or Command B on the Mac and I'll create a bin for images. I'll select all the still images and drag them into the images bin. And finally I'll create a bin for audio and I will move the audio files there. I would probably create a sequences bin as well, but since we only have one sequence for now, I'll keep it here. Let's switch to thumbnail view by clicking here. Here are the bins we just created. If we double click on the video bin, for example, we open that bin 
and we see a thumbnail representation of all the files we moved into that bin. A quick tip, since we have a thumbnail representation of our videos, we can hover over the thumbnail and scrub through the video clip. We can get a full preview of our clip without the need to open it in the project panel. And if the size of the thumbnail is too small, then just use the slider and adjust its size. We can also add in and out points here, but we will see this in a later tutorial. We can also refine the number of items listed here based on key names or search names, and we can perform searches. Let's switch back to the list view for a moment, and I only want to see the list of the videos that contain bike in their name. So in the search field, I'll enter bike, and only videos with bike in their file name will show. A search can be done on file names, on file types, on words in file names. Enter 1280, and the list only shows files that have a resolution of 1280. Enter bike again, and now we see all the videos that relate to bike. I could create a new bin within the current bin and further organize my assets. So let's create a new bin then. I'll give it the name bike and I'll drop those files here. I now will turn off filtering. So just click the X on the search field and notice now that our video bin contains a bin called bike. That's it. I hope this provides not only a useful overview of the project panel, but also some tips on how to organize your files. Let's go back to the workspace layout. Just click the tilde key. In this module, we went over the project panel. We use the project panel to view and to organize our assets. We considered a few topics. We learned that the project panel gives us two options to view media files icon view and list view. In list view, the project panel exposes detailed information including metadata about our assets and organizes this information in a table. We learn that that table and its columns are customizable and that we can sort our clips based on each column heading. In icon view, the project panel provides a thumbnail representation of our clips and those thumbnails are interactive. We used the project panel to organize our media. We created bins and placed assets into bins. We saw how to refine and search through a list of assets by using keys in the search field. In the next module, we will look at two additional panels, the source monitor panel and the program monitor panel. Although these two monitor panels look very much alike, they each have very different functions. The source monitor panel previews individual clips and the program monitor panel previews the sequence.